Hello everyone, uh, this is Swartor Snoopy here, back with another Star Wars Republic video. Today I have for you guys another Star Wars Republic Challenges video. In today's Challenges video, I'm just going to be finishing up the False Emperor Hard Mode. So where, we, uh, so where we last left off, I actually decided to, you know, complete the first uh, three bosses in the False Emperor. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to get back to that set point and of course complete the last two bosses solo, of course. So that's going to be what this video is for this challenge. Now, in the last video, I said that I was going to give away this uh, Rancor Hollow Replica. So someone managed to win, and of course, I'm just going to go ahead and send this to them when it is no longer bound. It's only, yeah, it's actually bound for eight more hours. But yeah, they won, and they were actually on the Ebon Hawk, so that's pretty cool. So in this episode, I'm actually going to go ahead and give away a cartel pack. So this can be on any server once again. Now, based on what I saw, is you guys want to actually, you know... You actually send a message through YouTube message rather than Twitter because a lot of people didn't actually you know didn't seem like anyone used the uh, Twitter hashtag it seemed like most people actually only used the YouTube messaging so for this giveaway I'm just gonna do it a different way so uh, as you know YouTube doesn't really allow the giveaways where it allows you to get you know likes subscribers comments etc so uh, what you can do is you can just message me there will be a you know a description in the description there will actually be a way to simply you know complete this all you have to do is just message me on YouTube in a certain fashion and you will be able to have a chance at winning a cartel pack and that will be announced in the next episode as always. So I hope you guys enjoy this Star Wars Republic Challenges video. As always, if you guys enjoy these videos, then make sure to leave a like. And if you guys want some nice gaming glasses, then check the link down below. No scope gaming glasses, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in the Flashpoint. Alrighty guys, we are back from where we last left off. We have now completed the third boss in the False Emperor. So we're just going to go ahead and just get this started right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and use Unity right here. Alrighty then. And then of course I'm just going to try to take out these enemies right here. This is going to be, you know, quite a big problem since they're going to do a lot of damage. But this is just the way to simply get the job done. So just go ahead and do that right there. Alrighty then. And then we're going to attack this enemy right here. Just take them out. Alrighty then, just go ahead and heal HK a bit, then attack right here also. There we go. Then, of course, I can also heal HK back up since he's running into some problems. He will die, but that's alright since we can still do some stuff right here. Alrighty then, it looks like I made the mistake of actually activating the wrong droid. So yeah, this is probably going to be rip right here, so that kind of sucks. But once again, we can just try to heal back up and do some stuff. So yeah, there we go. Alright, then looks like I'm running into some problems once again. So yeah, like I said, I'm probably going to die here, but that's fine. So we're just going to go ahead and just try to kill this enemy right here. There we go. Let's go ahead and just take out the enemy right there. Then, of course, we're just going to die, sadly, just like that. There we go. It's actually, I believe it's my second death in the actual Flashpoint. So, of course, we do actually have to head back right here. I really didn't play that, I would say, trash mob too well, but once again, it's fine since we still have, you know, quite a way to go to actually get to HK47. Alrighty, guys, we are on the next trash mob right here. So we're just going to go ahead and actually take down these enemies right here already then. And of course, we do have this next mob right here that's going to cause a few problems, but it won't be too big of a deal since we can simply take him out just like this. So there we go. Just go ahead and have HK heal me. And then uh, I can also actually, you know, attack uh, another enemy at the same time. I have no idea how HK-47 is going to work out, though. So that's pretty cool, I guess, uh, you know, just to go ahead and see what we can do with HK-47. And I believe that, you know, Malgus won't be a problem at all. And then the small mini boss that is in this hard mode also won't be too big of a problem. But I have no idea about HK-47 because I do understand, you know, he does have that stab ability where he stuns you and does tons of damage. Alrighty guys, so we're just going to try to take out HK47 right now. So with this boss, personally, it seems like it is really just down to the crunching time, mainly because, you know, this guy has a really quick enrage timer, so you just got to go ahead and be fast and just try to survive. So I'm just going to go ahead and get ready right here and then begin the go or the boss fight. So let's just go ahead and just get this started right here. Just going to go ahead and put that off of HK right there. Then, of course, we're just going to try to do as much as we possibly can here. So I'm just going to go ahead and activate this right now. There we go. And then, of course, I'm just going to have HK heal me back up while we try to, of course, take down this boss right here. So there we go. Just got to go ahead and just try to take him down very quickly since his enrage will be a problem. 
So there we go. Just going to go ahead and build up back some energy so I can just try to, of course, hurt him as best as I can. So there we go. Just going to go ahead and do that. Then we're just going to hammer shot him right here. Then, of course, we're just going to use a bolt storm. And then we're just going to try to keep this all up. Yeah, I mean, personally, this boss fight is not really a problem until the very end, as I've started to notice. So we can just go ahead and just try to keep this up right here. I'm going to try to save all my defensives until, you know, the very end of this right here. Since that will be, honestly, the very end is all the defensives at the finale of this boss fight, which can become a huge problem. So we're just going to go ahead and do this right here. Go ahead and kick him. And of course, we're just going to go ahead and force choke him. Just do that. Then we're just going to do this right here. Just, you know, catch him on fire again. And then slowly take him out. There we go. Just got to go ahead and do that. Then we're just going to try to keep up the damage right here. There we go. Just going to go ahead and do that as well. While we have HK heal us, of course, since this will become the biggest problem here. It's just him constantly trying to attack us. So we're just going to go ahead and do that right there already then. Let's go ahead and let that ability go down. Then he's just going to continue to attack us. So there we go. Let's go ahead and do that. While he still attacks... And then, of course, he's going to start actually attacking HK in a really bad way. So, just go ahead and do that. And then, we're going to wait for that. So, he's just going to go ahead and stun us. And then, he's just going to disappear. And then, we just need to try to take him down as quickly as possible. So, there we go. He's just going to go ahead and stab HK quite a bit. So, we're just going to go ahead and just try to keep up the damage here. And then, he's just going to still cause even more problems. He's going to do that to HK. We're going to cleanse that. And then we're just going to try to keep up the damage. So there we go. It looks like he's starting to hurt quite a bit. So we're just going to go ahead and use a bunch of defensives. While we try to survive since he's going to rage in a second. So just got to go ahead and just get all prepared for that once again. So there we go. The enrage is here. So we're just going to go ahead and activate that. And then we're going to try to survive as best as we possibly can. Extremely low. But once again I do want to say that this boss is really difficult as well. And just by being difficult, you just gotta, you know, just kind of use a bunch of tactics. I feel like if I, you know, constantly work up and I also get my HK-51 to rank 50, it might be possible I might attempt HK-47 again. But once again, I mean, his damage output is way too much. And if I don't have a bunch of defensives, then it makes it extremely difficult to do. So anyways, we can just move on right here and then continue in this flashpoint. Alrighty guys, so it turns out that my actual screen recorder wasn't recording the rest of the parts for the false emperor so i just killed the quick mini boss before malgus he was honestly incredibly easy but now we have this part over here kind of sucks because in those parts of just me running around after arcus just you know getting him to attack a dark or darth malgus you know constantly attacking the same exact ship this ship itself just attacking itself you know i just decided i would just go ahead and talk about some things about, you know, failing challenges and whatnot, and I decided that I would just go ahead and give away another cartel pack on the Ebon Hawk. So, one of the cartel packs that will be given away will be, of course, from, uh, you know, just any server, it doesn't really matter, and then another one will be given away on the Ebon Hawk due to my failure on HK47. But yeah, honestly, there are some things that kind of suck when it comes down to these challenges, but that's kind of expected. I feel like I can defeat him or just beat him if I just manage to, you know, get my companion to rank 50 and I try to get some better gear. But for right now, I don't think it will be possible. Or also, if I decide to get a Juggernaut or a, you know, Guardian, where I can just go ahead and just pop a Saber Reflect when he starts to do the quick, oh yeah, he starts to do the quick burst ability. But yeah, that would also be extremely helpful if I did that right there. So, you know, it's fine once again, but we can continue on to Malgus. Of course, the person you always want to fight in the False Emperor, the best boss battle of the game, 10 out of 10, is Malgus, and he's straight through this door. Alrighty, guys, let's just go ahead and get this fight started right here. So, as you can tell, based on the cooldowns, I've been trying to take out Malgus, but there's been a few glitches where I just try to, you know, go ahead and attack him, and for some reason, it knocks me out of the map or I die for no reason. So, I'm just trying to take Malgus to a different corner where I likely won't run into that same issue. Because for some reason it seems like the game is just knocking me back and I just teleport to like a death area for some odd reason. So I'm just going to go ahead and just try to stay in one area. 
so we don't run into that issue. So I'm just going to go ahead and stay out in this area because I feel like it would be a lot safer rather than just staying out over there with a bunch of crazy issues. It also seems like I'm getting a bunch of lag. This is absolutely crazy. But we're just going to try to keep it up right here. Just trying to actually attack him with a bunch of crazy lag. So there we go. Just going to go ahead and do that right there. Alrighty then. Just slow him down. And then we're just going to try to attack him right here. Let's go ahead and do that. Then force a choke him. Just like that. There we go. Just going to go ahead and do a bunch of stuff. Looks like he's barely taking any damage since I'm lagging so much. Nothing is regis er, registering, so we just need to try to keep up with the DPS. Even if there is a bunch of lag, this makes the fight even better. So there we go. Looks like I'm going to have to deal with the Wrath of Malgus in a second. So there we go. Just go ahead and have HK heal me back up. There we go. Then we're just going to try to speed up the DPS quickly. There we go. So just go ahead and interrupt that. Then continue up. You know, once again, DPSing him down since I believe that he does have an enrage as well. So we just need to keep that right there. Let's try to constantly attack him. Alrighty, there we go. And then we have HK back up and running. So we can just try to hurt him even more. Alrighty then. Let's go ahead and say that amazing line right there, Malgus. So we can just go ahead and force choke you down. And then just try to throw a nade on you. And then there we go. It looks like he's taking a bunch of damage, which is extremely good. So there we go. Can just go ahead and just continue to constantly attack him right here. There we go. Just try to hurt him. He's still trying to hurt me, but it seems like, you know, he's not doing too much. I mean, if Malgus were a class in this game, it was actually something. I believe he would be, you know, probably a tank since he really doesn't do too much damage. As you can tell right here, he's trying to constantly attack me, but he's doing little to no damage. I mean, he clearly does have a taunt since I'm just trying to attack him constantly. Just has that amazing taunt. So, now let's just try to keep the damage up. Nothing really... Yeah, there's like nothing really special about this fight, really. All there is to it is just trying to attack him and then just interrupting his unlimited power, if I remember correctly. Because I believe that insta-kills you, so you don't want that. So I'm just going to go ahead and just try to hurt him even more. There we go. And then we're just going to try to uh, just hurt him even more. We just want to do as much damage as we possibly can. But yeah, he's slowly knocking HK back, which we really don't want. Because that's also an issue. Because for some reason, when an, a companion falls into, you know, the uh, death list or the death pit, they just really start to go back. All right, HK, you really need to get back over here, dude. Can you please stop? I don't want you to get knocked back. Alright, there we go. Just attack from that angle. Nice. There we go. Just go ahead and attack from over there so you don't get knocked back. Alright, so we just need to try and keep up the DPS right here. Just got to try and hurt him as best as possible. There we go. Looks like he's still running into a bunch of issues. He's going to use unlimited power. Just go ahead and interrupt that. Then we're just going to continue the constant fight. Of just being extremely bored while still attacking someone. So, looks like he is still doing some damage. Still attacking us, but it is no problem once again. So, there we go. Just going to try to hurt him right there. Then we're just going to try to keep up the DPS as well. There we go. Looks like he is still getting extremely low. Just losing all of his abilities to fight. So, just go ahead and do that right there. Still going to hurt him, but once again, he is still, you know, trying to knock us back. But it's not working whatsoever since we clearly have an advantage over him. Because he doesn't understand how to simply leave or kite us around because we can just stay stationary. And of course, be a human turret. So there we go. Let's go ahead and just get some, you know, hammer shots on him. I'm running out of a bunch of energy since I decided to be lazy and just uh, spam him as best as I could. So there we go. He is slowly losing his health, which is good. All right, 16 seconds on that. I think we can manage for the time being. So we just got to go ahead and just try to really be careful with what we have. All right, so he's going to use unlimited power. If that will register for some reason. Nope, it won't. All right, then. Alrighty, guys, I managed to just kill Malgus right there at the very end. Took me a very long time to just go ahead and take him out. 
because there was so many glitches with uh, this companion. So he would get knocked back every single time at the very end, and it would just basically kill him, and then the whole entire thing would reset. So the way I was just trying to do it is I would just let Malgus enrage, and I would just kind of kite him around, and then when he got to the final phase, I would just go ahead, get him over here, then I used uh, the pulse grenade, and I used my charge right here to just go ahead and knock him off. Since I kept on having problems, for some reason, it would just keep on knocking HK back into the pit. So I just decided, like I said, just to cut him around during the enrage since I wasn't trying to fully DPS him down. And we just managed to, of course, complete this flashpoint and end it all and stop Malgus in the very end. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this Star Wars Republic Challenges video right here. As always, if you guys enjoyed these videos, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Also, and before I leave, by the way, this is, like I said, a recording that was placed after a few tries. I understand that my attempt was around over here, if I believe. And yeah, I was recording that attempt, and then I just did this attempt eventually just to get him to the side and to knock him off. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.